I'm pretty excited about this. So this is the first time I've really used SRS LTE and GNU Radio together. Uh, I saw this post uh, by SRS LTE uh, today, and they put out another application note. So I figured since I was uh, working on SRS LTE anyways, I'd take a look at this. Uh, I sat here for a while and looked at it. Uh, there's a lot of steps here. So all this is virtual, no hardware uh, as far as SDR is needed. That's what's pretty cool about this. And it's going to show you um, basically mobile and how, you know how a handover occurs between uh, uh, cells after you've set up an end-to-end -end, uh, SRS uh, network, basically. So everything is already pre-installed in DragonOS. Uh, as we go down through this guide, there's one thing it references the uh, ZMQ app note. There's one thing we need to do from there which everything again is already all installed you would need to scroll down and you would need to make the network namespace creation and that's pretty easy here you can see the command sudo ip net ns add ue1 i've already did that so i'm getting uh, it already exists and you can check that by sudo ip net ns list see it's there. All right, that's pretty much all we have to do from there. As we continue down through this guide here, this is kind of the description uh, or visual representation of how this is going to work. So we're going to have the uh, the GRC GNU radio is going to be the broker between the SRS UE and the ENB. All right, uh, so to set up the SRS uh, portion, the ENB, I'm sitting in the Etsy SRS LTE folder here. And what I did was before I made any changes, I did a sudo copy uh, UE conf uh, to UE conf.bk. Basically made a backup of both the, the UE, well actually three things, the UE conf, the RR conf, and the ENB conf. So I, I backed up those three before I started editing. If we take a look at the EMB file, you'll see I've already edited it with uh, Nano or whatever your preferred editor is. I'll come down. Let's see, right under the RF configuration, I put the device name equals ZMQ and device args copied and pasted uh, directly from here. Make sure you get the whole thing. That's all I had to change there. Control O, saves, Control X, exits. Uh, you can see the description of how this is gonna be set up with the cell and their ports and everything else. So, encourage reading this. The RR conf was a little more, uh, required a little more work. So, I left everything as default uh, until the line that begins with cell list and you can see it references the numbers off the left hand side here so I uh, well actually I essentially just uh, hand typed it in uh, there's probably an easier way to c copy and paste here but I made sure that my cell list looked exactly like this so the RF ports are different. The cell IDs are different. You'll notice the downlink uh, frequencies are different than the default. Uh, there's an RSRP config that wasn't on there. Uh, let me think what else stood out. The HO active was changed to true. So anyways, mine looks exactly like what's there, minus I think I left the uh, commented out the upload Erbson, but everything else. Make sure that's exactly the same. You got to make sure all the uh, bracketry brackets, all that lines up. All right. Once you do that, we're going to edit the UE file. Again, I just went down to the RF section right here, and what I found was. Um, 
there's some examples that are there and it just so happened uh, uncommenting the examples which specifies the device name and the device args was exactly what was in the uh, example here not the case for the EMB so for here it was again it shows the ports now it shows a description of the GNU radio I didn't see anywhere where the flow graphs available to download so uh, I'll just go through I just looked at, uh, just one additional thing I forgot to include uh, pulling up GNU radio of course you just want to go to programming uh, click on GNU radio and that's that pretty much uh, covers that point there and then you can pick up where uh, I talked through it in the video All right. at it and built my own Let's see if I can zoom in uh, okay well hopefully you can see that so in GNU Radio 3.8 you got to give it uh, the default block an ID. I put ZMQ in there. I change the sample rate to 23.04 E6. You make two QT GUI ranges. You can just uh, search for QT GUI range. Double click and puts two on here. I called just like it shows in the description. One ID is cell underscore gain zero. Uh, you can see the default values I changed, and then the step I had to put a, a decimal one there. And okay. Oh yeah, notice the default value on here is one, whereas on the cell underscore gain one, the default is zero because it's going to start with the, uh, the other cell first. Same thing, same settings. Change the minimum length to 100. Make sure it's on counter and slider. I copied over. 3 ZMQ source blocks. Now this you, you can see in the in the description. It'll probably maybe a little clearer than here, but uh, TCP, uh, the local host 2101, make sure everything is set. That all three look the same except for the ports are different. 2101, 2201, 2001. The multiply const, uh, this is where I missed initially. This is where the Q2 GUI, I believe, gets referenced. So the const uh, constant, I changed to cell underscore gain zero. And the constant on the other block, I changed to cell underscore gain one. Into an add block, and then over into a sync. The sync, uh, it's pretty uh, clear in the description. You put three of those on there. TCP, um, and then it's got the little uh, asterisks uh, and port 2000. The basically it goes 2000, 2100, and 2200. There's this sample uh, block, or I'm sorry, throttle block I put on there. It's referenced in the uh, sample rate. All right, so. Hopefully there's no questions there. You can see from the example, but the big thing was where does, and I'll show why. So basically when you save and you execute the flow graph, you're going to have a little uh, slider bar here, and it's and this will come into play later. It's a little confusing, but I'll show. It makes sense after you run it once or twice. So let's see. So we've got the GNU Radio Companion set up. And then what we're going to do is... We'll start up the uh, EPC. Let's see, started. We got our notification. You can reference it off of what it's uh, saying here that it should be doing. We'll do our E and B. Okay, again, everything's lining up with what it's saying. Ends on, uh, let's see, setting frequencies. Yep. You can reference here. This is what this should, this uh, terminal should be saying. And then over here, we'll start up our UE. Referencing that net NS name that we made.
give it a second. The uh, interface needs to initialize. Again, this is all using ZMQ, so we're not. I'm not broadcasting anything. You can begin to understand how the LTE network works and all the different components uh, without having to have any uh, SDRs. So that's uh, hats off to these guys. It's pretty awesome. All right, so we can see the uh, sample rates here. Let's check. Yep, ends in about the same place. So like it says, once all three network elements uh, have been initiated, this is where we bring GNU Radio in. And then uh, this is what's going to connect the UE to the uh, EMB. And then you'll see this is where that graph comes up I'm talking about. And you'll see once we run the, the uh, broker, which is the GNU Radio, you sh uh, will get a, su a successful attachment to the network and then everything will be running and then we can begin to uh, do like a handover between the cells. So I'll pull up, uh, let's see, GNU Radio. I'm going to start it and then I'll min minimize GNU Radio so we can kind of see what's going on behind the scenes. Matter of fact, let me minimize this a second. So we'll start. We can see what's happening here. We've got uh, the IP a successful attachment and then I'll do a, uh, a ping of it to keep this alive and it, and it references that in the um, application note. So just to review we got a successful attachment the EPC kind of see where it ends in the sending information right there on the left you can see the EMB you saw the uh, information at the bottom, everything's connected. The UE is attached over here. We got the IP address. Now we can do the handover between the uh, cells. And then it tells you to uh, keep the uh, UE from being idle. You can ping it, which I'm doing here. So you'll see it talks about uh, cell one and cell two. It's a little confusing because they don't it's not referenced like that in the uh, in the setup there, but if you do, if you look at, let's see, if you look at this and then you read the description and you see what port is what, you'll see how it's uh, switching between the two uh, cells, and we're using the multiply const, at least I believe, and the sliders here to change the variable or the constant between the two. Let's see, so. Uh, actually, sorry. So it tells you to set the gain of cell 1 to 0.5, slowly increase the gain to. So this is what I've done. And if you do it slow, I, I mean, it seems to be doing the handover and then not causing an error in the EMB here. So if I lower this to 0.5, then slowly start bringing up the cell gain here. Can you drop in this down? Nope. I think I let's see, I'll bring this up, try that again. So let's see, so I found the cell. Uh, let's try that again in the opposite direction. So okay, here we go. So let's try this way. Point five. Raise this up. Now lower this down. All right, there we go. So, not really sure if that's just because I'm going too fast. So, one more time. So, down to five. Bring this up slow. Now we'll lower the other cell down. All right, I've sat here for a while. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this is uh, coming from 
uh, versus if I lower this to uh, 0.5, bring the other cell gain up slowly. I mean, it, it, it is going between the two. It just seems that uh, going to this cell, uh, I, yeah, I don't know the difference. But anyways, uh, I'll dig a little bit more, but that's how uh, I, I've managed to get this far using this uh, thing here. If I'm doing something a little wrong, I'm sure somebody will point it out. But again, this is a learning experience with this, and I find it really interesting that it's got uh, the ability to tie GNU Radio in there. So definitely a plus. I guess next next time I'll go more into the uh, an S1 handover, which now requires both SRS LTE and then including what they give an example of here of adding Open 5G S to do yet another type of uh, handover. So, all right, thanks.